What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. In this one, we have a really special feature for you. We're gonna be building out this awesome accent wall, fireplace wall. It is gonna be really sick, so make sure you hit subscribe. We'll show you how to do it. Let's go. in for justice. Boom! We got the TV mount installed on top of, uh, right on our sheathing because the finished wall is gonna come out about three inches. We want this to not stick out, you know, super far. So we want it as close to the wall as possible. So we got this. Now we're gonna get to installing all of the, uh, the rest of this detail wall. So walk you through it as we do it, but uh, it's gonna be pretty sick. Right in! be a dope wall. All right, first thing that we're gonna do, um, we really kind of need to um, start at the center and work our way out just because of how it's kind of confusing. So don't worry about the details, but- uh, Too high level for me to possibly understand. I, I honestly just can't think of a way to explain it is really the issue here. Got it. So don't worry about that. It's more of a me thing than a you thing. You got it. All right, so the idea with this wall, we wanted to feature detail around the TV and the fireplace. So we're gonna go about eight feet wide and we're gonna do vertical spaced slats of two by four and two by six material. Um, it's gonna look really sweet because it's gonna have gaps in between. So it's gonna get create some like really cool texture here. We're gonna stain that black and then that is going to accept our adorn stone on both sides. The one thing when I was designing it that I forgot about is this area right here where you see these, this needs to be non-combustible material. So we have hardy that goes on top of this. And then we decided, you know, what are we gonna put there? Are we gonna do like some tile? Or are we gonna do some white adorn stone, the Acadia, like everywhere else? We thought that would kind of be like too stark with the black fireplace, the TV's black, the wall's black. We're gonna spray paint the Premier Series. It's gonna be really sick. High heat paint, primer it, paint it. What? It did sound like I eat paint. High heat paint. <laughs> I don't eat paint anymore. So yeah, it's gonna be really sick and you'll see it, you'll see it start to come together. All right, so we- Wait. Yeah, what? The six bys and- Six bys, two by sixes. Two by sixes. Yes. That's gonna be black. That's gonna be black, yeah. Shouldn't we like rip everything and paint and everything well, now? That doesn't, that's not, no, I wanna paint it on the wall because I wanna get all the two by sixes are gonna be tight together. That's just basically our, we're building out the whole wall, inch and a half essentially, so that we have a solid material. And you don't wanna stain them before we put them up? No, because I wanna- There might be like little cracks in between that you can see. Some are not really get in there. Um, no, because the cracks, all the seams are gonna be covered by the, oh, the okay. rips. Okay but I want to get it up on the wall and then sand it. And I'd rather just, so I want, I, I probably do want to stain the, the, the rips on top before we install them. But again, you know, when you stain it and then you're putting it up, it gets kind of scuffed up and then like you kind of have to put another coat on it sometimes and then I'll make it even darker. I might just want to hit it one time. One time, every time. I don't know. Definitely want to get the two by sixes up first. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Do the door stone, then the wood? No, on top of it to no, the we can't. We need, we need to be able to pull this out because this needs to be hooked up before we put the door stone on. We need to do the wood first. But shouldn't the wood cover the flange of the top of door stone? Uh, no, we're gonna have to glue the top layer. But wouldn't we not have to if we just covered it, the flange? This needs to be removable. We need to be... Well, what do we gotta do to hook it up? We gotta hook up the gas. Talk it out, talk it it's out. It's a real talk head scratcher. Talk it out, I'm talk trying it to think. I'm trying to think. Okay, so essentially, we're gonna start with one splitting right in the middle. That'll be the center of it, so. That'll be our first edge of our first one. But we're gonna need to box out around this, and then we need to box out around this, so 10 pieces of two by six cut at, uh, 10 inches, yeah. 10 at 10. Could you not carry 
are all ten of you at once? Why did you only grab the top five? I don't know, because you were there, and you were walking <laughs> over here, and I didn't want to, like, you know, power move you and take all. Okay. All right. You taking that? I'm freezing. John. Yeah. Did you do CrossFit this morning? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, of course I went to CrossFit this morning. Come on. Okay. Uh, my body's a furnace. It's a it's a power plant. Uh, I didn't eat anything, and I did not work out this morning. This doesn't seem like it's centered. Did I do something wrong? Did I mess this up? I did. I'm gonna freak out. It doesn't look. Right. Why doesn't it look right? What's happening? Sixty-nine. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. All right. Take three. <laughs> no! What? Yeah, no, yeah. this is right. No, okay. right. <laughs> this is right. <laughs> These ones look... This <laughs> looks like... A, or like an anteater. Or a horse, or a, yeah. Yeah, or an anteater. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. Unless he's Mr. Red. Yeah. <laughs> Na 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 You say Na 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 <laughs> Cut me some at uh, 34, 10 of them. 10 at 34. You got it. You got it! <laughs> I'm gonna rip this real quick. So I know, wait. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> What? I know I was I was gonna try to push it and shoot it out the other way, but I was like that's that's not good practice. We need to wait on that thing. ASAP. I need like a small ladder. I can see that. I can see that. I can certainly see that. What I'm gonna need is uh, something else. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Don't worry, we're covering up the center here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Fuck that right in. Good. Here you go. We're doing so good. I know. Take this top off. Where are they? Uh, I think they're in one of the slots. What size blade is that? Not in there. Oh, there we go. That's a 12. Here. What's with all the sexism today? Can you remember what? What are you talking about? No, I mean. <laughs> I said I got a table saw this weekend, and you said, Pat, Pat got a table saw? I, I said, said, no, it, it's mine, I and said, you said, did okay. Pat get a new so table Pat, saw? Pat got a table saw. You're really, you're really. And now you're like, what? It's like a vintage one. It's my dad. It was my dad's oh. from a long time ago. I'll take a picture of it and I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> How did she do that? All right, uh, we might want to we might want to sand sand the sides of this before we put this up as well. But um, so basically, we've got this all built out inch and a half. Then this is three inches, so we've got an additional three and a half, or I mean, additional inch and a half. 
So then we're gonna have, this just needs to be the full three inches because this is gonna be the edge of our, uh, butting against our stone on the inside of the fireplace, you know what I mean? But aren't these feature strips gonna stick off three inches from here? No, they'll stick out an inch and a half. So everything with this is gonna be flush. Like all the pieces that stick out are gonna be flush. You know what I'm saying? Like right yeah. now, this is sticking past this an inch and a half. I do see that. The piece yeah. that goes over these seams and there'll be one in the middle will be ripped inch and a half. So Got all, it. this will be flat. I thought you said those were three inches, so now that makes more sense to me. Thank you for this clarifying. This is three, this is good. And the end one is gonna be three inches. But only sticking out past the two by sixes. Bingo, bingo. Yeah, so this way we'll have like an inch and a quarter gap in between each one, because here will be a rip in the center of the board and then covering each seam. So it's gonna create uh, uh, just a beautiful texture. Oh my gosh, the texture. The texture, my God. Gotta love that texture. Yep, go ahead. Okay. I'll put this down there because it, it will be better to sand it. It'll be better to sand it uh, first. I think that would be helpful. Oh, you got me on that one. Ugh. Little tip for all you people at home. I need this one to be a nice cut up to the ceiling. It's tough to get that, you know, measurement and whatnot. So what I did, let me just test it first. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I know that the roof is a four pitch, so I cut a four pitch on this piece of scrap. And I've got from our long point to here, 10 inches. All right, so what I got here is, oh man, look at that. Right at 101. So 101 plus 10, 111. Long point to straight, should fit like a glove. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Uh, easy peasy. Check it out. Ah. All right, so we're gonna have a trim piece that goes all the way across the top, tight with our ceiling. The two end pieces are gonna be the same as this, three inches uh, deep. The two end pieces are gonna be finished cuts up to the ceiling, so a trim piece is gonna butt into those. So all I need to do, I need to cut these two that are uh, sticking out right now. So I've got this ripped at the angle of our ceiling. So I can just trace this, I can zippy it out, and then uh, we're gonna pre-stain this piece before we put it up because it's so close to the hemlock. I don't wanna, you know, stain that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, short. You think? Oh shoot, I should've made it like 10 feet long. This guy's hilarious. It's hilarious. He's hilarious, this guy. That's fire. 
Alright, sick. I'm gonna stay in these separate though. It's a little harder to do with gloves. So it begins, the stain. Oh. got our finish right here now you can kind of see why we did this uh, full three inch because our stone on the inside of the fireplace is gonna butt up to it same thing on the outside of this accent wall and now what we're doing is uh, we got all these pieces ripped at inch and a half there's gonna be one at the bottom there's gonna be a piece at the top and then oh it's gonna look so nice covering each seam plus the middle so it'll be like an inch and a quarter between each of these battens it's looking it's looking nice already but it's gonna look so sweet like that oh yeah yeah Detail wall is just about done. We've got a lot of uh, little touch-ups on the stain that we got to do. We'll go around the whole thing, touch it all up. And both sides almost of the Premier Stone wall, just about done. It's looking freaking beautiful. And now let me show you a couple more features about this stone and where you can get it. So we've got here the new line, Premier Stone by Adorn. Adorn's a company that we've been using for a few years now. We really love the product. And then this year they asked us if we would design our own line of stone. So this is the first profile. Comes in three colors. This is the Acadia. There's also Denali, which is a really dark gray. And then we have Sequoia, which is brown. All three of them look awesome. And the coolest thing about this that people usually don't believe when I say it is that it captures carbon dioxide. This is a green building product. How does it do that? Well, there's a lot of proprietary technology inside of this to make that happen, but basically it absorbs carbon dioxide and converts it to calcium carbonate. So not only is it permanently 
absorbing carbon dioxide from the air and storing it, encapsulating it forever. It's chemically changing it to calcium carbonate, which actually makes this a stronger product. Calcium carbonate helps make the concrete even stronger as it absorbs the carbon dioxide. So that is a real thing that is not made up. This will absorb carbon dioxide. Each panel, which is one square foot, is gonna absorb about a pound and a half of carbon dioxide over its lifetime. So it's a green building product, we love it. Do your part, buy some of this stuff. You can go to adornstone.com and uh, get yourself a sample. And pretty soon, Lowe's Home Depot, all over the country, you're gonna be able to order this. So I wanna see it on some projects and tag me. Good job there, Nick, looking good. We got the feature wall finished up. It looks freaking awesome. I feel like it feels like you're in a really fancy, cool hotel or like a awesome loft apartment. Looks pretty sick. We've got all the Premier Stone up. Looks so good next to the black accent. I freaking love it. We've got the fireplace right now just sitting in here because we need to get the plumber in to connect this because once we stone this in, there's no coming out with this. So we need to make sure that it's hooked up working properly before we finish it off. So you're gonna have to wait for that and wait for some of the really cool details that are coming on the hardscaping of this project. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. And until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living. Well, it's definitely broken now. Oh God, it's snapped off in there. <laughs> <laughs> now it's definitely not gonna work. Yep. All right, well I guess I gotta return another one. That's not part of the process. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cobalt problem, not the nail. Crash. <laughs> You're a scumbag. Well, now it's not gonna work anyway. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be turning off anyway. Like.